Now, let's come back and start with your compounds of sulfur. We have already st studied the allotropes of sulfur. We have, I also showed you the structures of sulfur allotropes. Then I also did a question called what is transition temperature. Now, I am gradually going into the concept of the compounds of sulfur. That is, sulfur is going to form, uh, like we are going to study the oxide form of sulfur, that is sulfur dioxide. And then we will study about sulfuric acid also. And then mm, with oxo acids. So, whenever I speak about sulfur dioxide, okay, very important concept. I, as I said, very different types of questions are asked on this. So, first, before starting, like instead of writing or learning the preparations of sulfur dioxide, let us come back and do the question form of sulfur dioxide. What is the type of question asked from the preparations? So, the first important thing is the most important question. I am marking it with star. I have a habit of marking with star when it is very important. Just go through the question. What do they give us? What happens when sulfur is passed through concentrated sulfuric acid? Okay, what actually is the concept with sulfuric acid? Concentrated sulfuric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent. Remember that. There are two things which you have to remember in the paper when they give you sulfuric acid. What should you remember? We already said when it is dilute sulfuric acid, okay, right? So, suppose you are taking dilute sulfuric acid, you are taking piece of metal in that. Done? So, when you are taking a metal, when you are adding sulfuric acid which is dilute, you have very well seen that you get metal uh, sulfate that is salt plus hydrogen gas. This is what is the thing metal sulfate MS4 or hydrogen gas. Okay, let us write an example. This is only with dilute, remember that. So, that means suppose if I take uh, iron, I am adding sulfuric acid which is dilute in nature, I am going to get FeSO4 ferrous sulfate plus hydrogen gas which is evolved out. That is with dilute, not a problem. That is your grade 10 question. But when it come back to grade 12, you have to remember the concept of concentrated sulfuric acid. First thing is concentrated sulfuric acid is a strong oxidizing agent remember that right so when it is strong oxidizing agent what does it do basically whenever you see concentrated sulfuric acid the dissociation of sulfuric acid will be like this just see concentrated sulfuric acid okay let me write like this h2so4 concentrated okay this is fine isn't it yeah this concentrated sulfuric acid remember Two moles. Let me pick take two moles. When I take two moles, when I write the ionic reaction, I am going to get two. Uh, it has to pick up two electrons, isn't it? Done. Why am I writing this? Always remember, whenever you are taking concentrated sulfuric acid, the product into which it dissociates is three. There are three. First is sulfur dioxide compulsory. If sulfuric acid is there, you also are going to get H2O, and next is sulfate ion SO4 minus two sulfate ion. So now we call this a sulfur sulfur oxide okay i will tell you what is sulfur oxide also so whenever you see sulfuric acid remember these are the products now they asked me let me come back to this question they said what happens when sulfur is passed through concentrated sulfuric acid now the most important reaction is this reaction is called redox reaction right <coughs> redox reaction why because when sulfur I am taking sulfur I am going to take sulfuric acid and which is concentrated okay concentrated sulfuric acid now this concentrated sulfuric acid I said it is an oxidizing agent so what does it do this oxidizing agent helps in or the it, it, it allows the sulfur to undergo oxidation oxidizing agent isn't it so oxidizing agent it allows sulfur so sulfur gets converted into what did I say sulfur dioxide done now <laughs> the leftover what did I say sulfuric acid will form sulfur dioxide one the next one water molecule done so let's come back now I said sulfur it's getting converted to sulfur dioxide so what is happening here this sulfur has got oxidized addition of oxygen now sulfuric acid I said it is redox reaction isn't it I have to show the reduction part so sulfur it's getting oxidized to sulfur dioxide and your sulfuric acid right and the sulfuric acid this sulfur it is getting reduced to sulfate and this is indirectly not shown and don't show it in the reaction because it is indirectly understood concentrated sulfuric acid also forms sulfate ion this sulfate ion we call it as sulfur oxides 
Sulfur oxides can be many SO3, SO4, higher sulfur oxides. These are called sulfur oxides. Higher state is SO4. Done. Again, understand. Sulfur is getting oxidized to sulfur oxide. And your sulfuric acid, if I have to show, it gets reduced to sulfate. Now, this is reduced. So, both the reactions will happen in the same test tube. So, it is getting oxidized and it is getting reduced. Hence, it is called redox reaction. Both are happening. So, what is that thing? I am writing here. Sulfur is getting oxidized to sulfur dioxide and the next important the sulfur in H2SO4. Sulfur in H2SO4 is getting reduced to sulfur oxide. We call it as sulfur oxide that is in this case it is SO4 minus 2 because both are happening in the reaction it is called redox reaction. So what should you write in the exam? Don't try to mention all these arrows. Simple try to write this reaction done right. Try to write this reaction like this and try to balance the reaction. So <coughs> uh, when I have to see the balancing you know this is 4 isn't it? Okay. So